Well, hey guys, in my hand I have the brand new AirPod Max 2s, which are great. They've got USB-C now. They seem like they're a pretty sweet product. Now, the AirPod Max are awesome because they sound fantastic, but I've always been an AirPods Pro user, so I'm actually excited to see what these guys sound like. First, let's jump into the box. Apple's packaging has always just been so incredibly on point, and I don't think it's any difference with these ones. Now, I did get the purple ones because I think that's a pretty sweet color, and if I'm gonna keep these, they will go to my wife, actually. Happy wife, happy life. So here they are in the box. I'm gonna take them out. Man, that band always feels so good right there. They have that terrible charging case. Comes with the paper on top that we need to get rid of. Now these are them in the hand. Man, they look really, really good in this purple color. I'm not the biggest fan of purple, but these look different enough. Um, and I think my wife will really like these, and so that's why I wanted to get these ones. Now, if you'll notice right here, the headband, let's see if we can get it to focus. The headband is uh, really, really comfortable on this thing. Like it is, it is very, very, very soft. It's very good for holding on your head for a number of hours. So I'm very impressed with these guys. It's got the crown on the top. That crown right there is smooth. It's also got the button on the side. And then the big deal right here is on the bottom side, you see they now have USB-C on them. So I'm gonna put them on, give them a little bit of shot, and then I'm gonna report back and see how I feel about them. So they sound really fantastic. The cool thing about these is with that pass through the transparency mode, it sounds unbelievably good. Now I will say the case on these guys, man, it is not, for how much money you're, you're paying for these, it is not very protective of them. Uh, you need the case to charge everything. It's just kind of a stupid, a stupid case. But uh, I do know they sell some aftermarket third-party cases that are pretty good. And so if you're kind of curious about that, I would go with a different case than this. But again, the color of it matches pretty well to the headband. It looks, looks good. The USB-C on the bottom right here is open, which is awesome. Um, however, I just don't think that with the amount of money that you're paying for these things, I don't know that I would say that that's the best possible design that Apple could have come up with. So right now, I'm listening to them. They sound really, really good. They're very full, you know, bassy. They're pretty clear and they're comfortable on the head, which I actually really like. The other really cool thing about these headphones is that the noise cancellation is second to none. Like it is so incredibly good. When you turn on the noise cancellation on these things, like the world just literally disappears which is awesome. Now with this conversation, we do need to talk about these, the Apple AirPods Pro, because they do about 99%, maybe not that far, maybe 90% as good of a job as the AirPods Maxes. However, these ones are significantly less expensive and they're so much more portable. I use my AirPods Pros every single day. I at first didn't like the silicone in the ear, like the, the stop up thing, but eventually my ears got used to it and it started to kind of work out just fine for me, but I have been so incredibly impressed with the quality of the noise cancellation on these things. Like they are just so incredibly good for how small that package is. I love that it's got the speakers on the bottom so you can hear um, if you've lost them and you can find them. So for me, the hard part is going between something like the AirPods Max and the AirPods Pros because the AirPods Pros just seem so much more functional. I literally wore them on a five hour flight this past week, maybe four, four hour flight this past week, and they didn't get uncomfortable. I could have kept wearing them for more hours and it was fine. Um, I have heard some reports that the AirPods Maxes are pretty heavy on your ears and so wearing them for long periods of time might not be all that enjoyable. But man, for me, like using these things and, and like long periods of time that the battery lasts forever, I don't have anything bad to say about the AirPods Pros or the regular AirPods. Like regular AirPods for the price are incredible, incredible. I use these all the time for calls. So it's just really hard for me to say like I would actually travel around with something like the AirPods Max when I have something like the AirPods Pros in my pocket all the time. And I will say that I was generally just kind of disappointed that we did not see an update on these things with, with just a couple more features. Like I was waiting years to purchase these because it has come out for so long. Uh, it came out so long ago that I didn't want to buy them now if there was going to be an update. Well, it turns out the updates are just colors. Granted, they are good looking colors. They're not bad colors at all, but it just didn't feel like that much of an upgrade to me. And so if you get these, you're going to love them. If you love over the ear headphones, they're going to be fantastic for you. They sound great. Noise cancellation is absolutely absurdly good. Um, but for me, Size-wise, I'm probably gonna go with the Pros over the pro, over the Max. And so you let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Which do you prefer? Do you prefer big honking over the ears or do you like small? 
Let me know. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. We'll see you.